Let's be brutally honest. The market doesn't care about your feelings. It doesn't care about your hopes and dreams. It's a beast. And 90% of traders lose money. A cold hard fact. They get chewed up and spit out. Victims of their own emotions and flawed strategies. Are you one of them? Jumping from one holy grail strategy to the next one? Chasing that million dollar YouTube promise only to end up frustrated and broke. The market is littered with the carcasses of the failed get-rich-quick schemes. I've seen it all. The endless search for the perfect indicator, the complex systems that promise the world but deliver nothing. The truth is, most of those gurus are selling you a fantasy. They are making bank of your desperation, not of their own trading. But what if I tell you that Success in this game is not about complexity. It's not about having dozen different strategies. It's about mastery. It's about having one rock-solid, rigorously back-tested strategy that you understand inside and out. A strategy you can trust even when the market throwing everything it has at you. Okay, forget the noise, forget the hype. In 2022, algo trading accounted for an estimated 60 to 70 percent of all trading in the US equity market. This is where the real honey is being made. But even in algo trading, you do not need to overcomplicate. This is not about chasing shiny objects, it's about building a foundation. I'm not here to sell you a magic bullet, I'm here to give you the tools to become a disciplined, strategic algo trader or an algo developer. An algo developer who understands the why behind every move, not just the how. My last mentorship program had a student over 60 with zero coding experience. 60 days later, they were dissecting Python algo trading strategies like a pro. Age is just a number. Commitment is what matters. If they can do it, anyone can do it. If you are ready, to ditch the losing game and step into the world of real, sustainable algo trading. If you are ready to put in the work and become a truly deserving algo trader, then stick around because what I am going to share you will change the way you see the market forever and you will never need another strategy. Okay, so first of all, let's understand few basic understanding of the strategy. This strategy will work on crypto, it will work on forex, or it will even work on the traditional stock market. But in order to make this strategy work in the forex and the traditional stock market, we need to modify this as per the algo engine. So it can be done, but it will need a few modifications. So if you need, please let me know. We can modify it as per your uh, requirements, right? But for this video, we will backtest on the crypto, right? Okay, so now let's learn the most interesting part of the strategy, which is protection mechanism. So this strategy has multiple protection mechanisms. So let me tell you what are those, right? So first, this strategy will check for the excessive pumps. So a lot of times we have many fake pumps. So it will be able to detect and it will not execute any trade at that time, right? The next it will be able to validate the trends across multiple time frames. Third, it will use multiple confirmation signals. It will implement safe entry zones. Then it has pump and dump protection. And then last but not the least, I have added another protection, which is the market regime filter. So I will share both the strategies. One, which is the original, which was developed by the iterative. So I will share that also. And along with that, I will share the modified strategy in which I have added the market regime uh, filter, right? So you will get both the strategy in the link. Now let's discuss about the risk management. So in this strategy, maximum three to six open trades are recommended, right? So when we configure the effect rate, we have an option to like to limit the maximum open trade right? So it's recommended that you have maximum six open trades, right? Now, when we talk about the core strategy elements, so it is based on the nostalgia for infinity v5 and the multi offset optimizations right so it's a combination of the both and then few modifications from me and it is designed for spot trading it can also be designed for the uh, 
like the derivatives also but for the sake of this video it is designed for the uh, spot trading right and by default it will use 5 minute time frame and it has 21 different buy conditions and 8 sell conditions so let's now understand a uh, few of the important sections in the uh, code and let me tell you how it works so if you can see on the screen then uh, these are the basic libraries for the fat trade so yeah now this is the class so you have to have the class name and this name you should be using while you running the back testing or the or even for the live run right okay now when we talk about the order types so it has limit order for buy sell uh, trailing stop loss a uh, stop loss and then the stop loss on the exchange is uh, false means it will override any stop loss you have on the exchange right okay then these are the buttons right for to enable or disable your buy conditions let's say if any of these uh, 21 uh, buy conditions you do not want you can just come here and make it false so it will be disabled right very simple now okay so now this section is commented out and when we talk about this one so in this we have a few parameters so let's understand them one by one okay so when we talk about this base nb candles which means it will like define the look back period for to calculate the indicators so when we have the higher value which means it will look for the longer historical data right it is used for calculating the moving average for other indicators and then we have buy chop 19 which is choppiness index threshold and so if the value is higher means it will require less choppy uh, or we can say more trending markets right so it will be more selective in entries and it will avoid these sideways markets right and the next we have buy rsi 1 hour min 19 so in this it is required minimum 1 hour rsi requirement and the higher value means the stronger uptrend is required right and it will look for more momentum confirmation and more conservative entries okay now we have elliott wave oscillator so it is used to identify trend strength and reversals right now we have the moving average offset parameters right the low offset ema then kama sama t3n trima so okay now let's move to the next part now we have this minimum roi table which means if immediately after any trade happened and we have the profit more than 11.1 percent then it will take the profits right then after 13 minutes if we have a minimum of 4.8 percent profit then it will take the profits and in third if we have uh, 1.5 percent after 50 minutes then it will take the profits and the last is if we have at least one person after 61 minutes then it will take the profits right now this is stop loss which means all out right all gone so you should be very careful do not use your real money and thoroughly backtest everything right please 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 do not do it in your real money you have to backtest it on multiple time frames multiple market conditions and then only go right so and i would recommend just use this for backtesting right because and for real live trading you should be having a very stable environment right it should be very stable so in order to use this in production your server should be highly reliable right and should be working very fine with good uh, compute so for now just use this for back testing only okay then these are the multi offsets right so i don't think i need to explain these right this is the ma list for the simple moving average uh, exponential moving average then we have triple man or d3n k ama then we have these like these are just conditions for the stop losses so it's up to you you can change those and the time frame is default five minutes but you can change and for me i got the best results on the 30 minutes and one hour so we will see that later then it is the informative time frame this is one hour so you can change that also and you can even do the hyper optimization so with, with that you will be able to know the uh, exact parameters to use in your trading right then these are all the conditions um, buy conditions which are 21 right and these are conditions for the uh, dips strict dips loose dips like there are multiple conditions so it's like uh, up to you to explore this it's a very big file 
right but you can let me know oh, if i am explaining in a very you know very detailed or you need simple explanation or you need more detailed explanation i don't know right you need to tell me that which kind of explanation you need because these uh, the python i have already explained completely so i am assuming you as a still beginner so i'm trying to explain you more right but if you think that it should be you can go through it uh, quickly then you can let me know or if you need more detailed explanation then also you can let me know then these are all the you know the custom profit and custom loss custom uh, trailing stop all those things right okay then we have this uh, custom cell function F next we have the informative pairs and in informative one hour indicators then the normal time frame indicators right for all uh, the bollinger band ema sma uh, money flow index then we have elliot wave oscillators rsi choppiness dip protection volume you can let me know in the comments if you need the explanation of all these indicators i can make a video for those also okay then this is the function to populate those indicators right so so in this function it will use the indicators then here in this function it will be using all the conditions right which we have seen in the uh, like the starting of the file so these all are customizable uh, we can customize as per our requirements so you can go through this file i'll attach in the link right okay so i think we are like i have explained the things which are needed to to be understood right now what we will do i'll show you the back testing results of this strategy for me so what i did i back tested this strategy on 5 years of data right so it was from january 2020 to january 2025 so it it is almost 5 years or we can say 1500 days so when i tested this out so what happened uh, even though i have the max system on my local it was not able to perform the back testing on 5 minutes time frame right okay so let me first explain you so what i did i created a, a script so what it does it will just back test all the strategies all the time frames and it will save the results in this file not the results but the output the last output right the which is required for us so what happened why it did not work for 5 minutes because the data was huge and while using that back testing the compute fell short and that's why it it uh, like it it stopped in the middle right that's why so when i tested this with like one year it works fine so 5 minute 15 minutes it also stopped but for 30 minutes it worked fine and we have this result let me show you so so what happened here you can see here so the back testing is from 30th of november to 1st of january 25 maybe because of the data that was not available before that right so we started with the 1000 usdt and we ended up with 81721 right so this is just back testing do not trust these results you have to back test yourself right and you have to make your uh, customizations optimization uh, then only do this right don't just blindly go for this okay and you can see the minimum balance is 103 means it didn't go below 1000 so it is good thing actually so then the max was 98000 which is really good right so on 30 minutes we reached from 1000 to 98000 and then on 1 hour we reached from 1000 to 11000 so i can say on 30 minutes it it worked better so what you can do you can back test on your own data or i will attach this config file specifically that that uh, which are the pairs on which i back tested so you will be able to replicate the results if you want i will attach this okay and also i will attach this the script to back test like it is very uh, handy it becomes very handy right so we don't need to wait for the terminal so it will quickly like it will back test it will take some time it will back test then it will uh, save all the results in this folder so it is it is good you can use it for like multiple strategies so it's good then also i will share both of these strategies one is original 
the second is which i modified because i just play safe so it will give you less results but it is more safer right but still you should back test do not go live on these strategies right please cons- consult with some experienced you know uh, experienced uh, trader or the developer then thoroughly back test your uh, strategy and debug your code if there is any issues like you know sometimes there are dependencies so you need to thoroughly check before going live so yeah this was the strategy and it gave good results and i am back testing it on more data on more different pairs more exchanges like bybit also binance also so once i have good results i'll share you again in the uh, upcoming videos so for now you can let me know what you need more if you need more videos like this or if you want me to explain the line by line uh, strategy which we can do in the upcoming videos so for this video this was it i will see you in the next video until then bye bye take care have an awesome day